Uh huh. Great. Cool. That was really interesting. I wish I could have been there. Now, was I really listening? My word said I was listening. But my body language didn't say I was listening. My tone didn't say I was listening. So, was I listening? Gonna say no. But today we're gonna learn about communication skills. And one of the important communication skills is listening. Think, oh, because I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a supervisor, what's this Yahoo gonna teach me? Well, nothing with an attitude like that. But if you wanna learn something, We'll go through a few pointers today, but for that I'm going to have to go to the whiteboard. Let's move there now. Here we are back at the whiteboard. Communication skills aren't just about your words. They're about body language. 80% of what you communicate is your body language. So if you're sitting like this and like, oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People won't really think you're interested, even if you have the right words. Okay, so you have to be open, have open body language. It makes people think you're receptive. Secondly, it's your tone. 10% of your communicating is tone. Oh, you know how you pick up a kitty? Oh, I can't say that. Nice kitty. I'm going to throw you in outside now. You know, the kitty just purrs there because you think he thinks by your tone you're just your, his friend, but you're throwing him out the door. All right, and five, only 5% of what you say is your words. Correctors. Nobody likes correctors. I busted you guys busted you. I do that every video and you fall for it every time. Alright, if you remember from my last video about who likes correctors, well you look up my last social skills video and you'll see it's really nobody. So here's an example of poor communication. My daughter said to her friend, I'm going home to carve a pumpkin. And her friend, the kid, said, No, you're not. You're going home to carve a jack lantern. This isn't exactly true. A pumpkin is an orange skinned fruit from the Gord family. A jack lantern is a carved pumpkin, normally with facial features. So, that person was wrong to say that you're going home to carve a jack-o'-lantern because it's not a jack-o'-lantern until it's done. Have you ever had jack-o'-lantern pie? Anybody? With American Thanksgiving coming up and this Canadian one's just finished. I haven't heard of anybody that's had jack-o'-lantern pie. No, you have pumpkin pie. If you were going to carve a jack-o'-lantern you would take a jack-o'-lantern, a pumpkin that's been carved, and then carve out the face, and you just end up with a pumpkin with a gaping hole. So, you are carving a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. But, lucky for that kid, feet come out of your mouth pretty easy. And also, there's a word, a couple of words above jack-o'-lantern. It starts with jack. It means kind of a fool. Well, you get my drift. So that kid had poor communication skills because you shouldn't, one, you shouldn't correct, two, you shouldn't speak over somebody like you're smarter. You listen to them. The right way would have been, oh, I'm going home to carve a pumpkin. Hey, cool. Someone coming over to help you? It's so easy. Wasn't that easy? That person, my daughter, would have thought you're interested. The other person asked some questions. Perfect. So that's why you guys are here today. Okay, let's talk more. Listening. Listening is very important. 
should be writing this down. Listening. Listen to what the other person has to say. Look them in the eye when they're talking to you. Don't be on your device doing Fortnite or Atari or tic-tac-toe or whatever you guys do. Just put your phone down. Listen to what they have to say. Ask them some questions about what they said to you so that they know that you've paid attention. And your friend, you're the friend. Don't try to be interesting. You don't try to tell everybody that you've been around the world and you're the most interesting person. Be interested. That's how you get to be interesting. No one cares if you're interesting. People care if you are interested. And call people by name. Okay, we should be writing this, all these down because some of you are going to forget this. Be interested. Call people by their name. You know what everybody's favorite word is? It's their name. Because it's theirs. They're uniquely theirs. They like it. Alright, let's clean this up a little bit. Alright. So in conclusion, we'll go over a few things. 80% of communication is body language. So pay attention to how you look, how you're looking at others, how your body is. It's more important than you think. 10% of your body communication skills is your tone. It's how you say what you say. All right, that's important. 5% or maybe a little bit more is the words that you say. It's what you actually say. So when you're texting, people are missing 90% of what you're saying because they only get the words. So you really have to pay attention when you text or email. It's important. So, and we'll go over a few of these other things. Listen. Really listen. Listen with your ears and your eyes and your body. Listen. And you know you have two ears and one mouth, so you have to listen twice as much as you hear. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that they don't work together. When your ears are working, your mouth has to be closed. And when your mouth is open, your ears are closed. So, you know, that's how they work. If one's open, the other's closed. It's just how it is. Be interested in others. Show that you're actually interested in other people. Don't try to be interesting. Be interested. You'll be a lot more interesting. Call people by their names. Hey Bill, hey Bob, here Everest or Avery or Annabelle, just use your name. You know, don't say hey Yahoo, hey homie, use your name. They like the name, people like the names. Use it. Don't be a corrector. I know the correctors like to say, oh, I'm going to correct that guy to show them how smart I am and how dumb he is, and that way they will like me better because I've corrected their mistakes. Yeah, let me know how that's working for you. And the last thing to do all this, you have to practice. You can watch a thousand videos on YouTube about jumping out of an airplane, parachuting, but until you've actually done it, you really don't know anything about parachuting. So. Practice these few things and you will become a better communicator. Thanks for watching.